Hey guys, this is Jesse Adams. Thanks for joining my blog, Looking for Hire. So again, today's mission, we're en route from San Antonio, Texas, well, Bernie Stage, to Telluride. It's going to be absolutely beautiful when we get there. It's going to be a really cool approach. So thanks for joining. As always, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. <laughs> Warnings and cast messages are normal and associated. My ice panel, everything is off, inertial separator open. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my anti collision lights, turn oxygen on now. This is all normal. Before start flow with the checklist, baggage door, kitchen lever. All right, have at least 24 and a half volts. Timer looking for 13 NG. Fuel at low idle. Look for ITT to rise. We want to make sure we have at least 30 NG in 30 seconds. We're good there. And, and we're in the middle of summer. Really want to make sure we're watching our ITT. It only got to 700. That's a very cool start. Later on, when we're in Telluride, it's going to be critical that we. Uh, Watch what that high density altitude, high field elevation does to the start. Okay, boom. Turn the starter off. High fuel. Nice cool start. Turn on my inertial separator. And I'm going to go ahead and turn AC on. It's just me, so I want to set my trims appropriately. Alright, so and by a generator. It's picking up the load. There we are. Don't want to trip it. All right, fuel on board sink. We're fuel, we're full fuel. Fuel on board sink. Let me make sure I have my flight plan filed. Okay, and we're expecting Taylor Lejeune Junction. All right, so. Hey, do my feather test. Okay, she went back to better. All right, here we go. Bernie Stage Traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha Taxi from West Hangars up to an ultra runway 35, Bernie. Okay, check the beta. All right, that works. All right, yep, wind is definitely favoring north runway. All right, my final check, I will do my power over speed. Run up to 1900 RPMs. Making sure the propeller over speed works, or governor over speed, I should say. Yes, it does. All right, I'm going to set this for 500 feet, or 1,000 feet over my cruising altitude, 27,000 feet, on my landing lights, and we're ready for back taxi. Bernie stage traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, back taxi, runway 35, Bernie. Okay, it's time to go ahead and clean up my cast messages. If you don't stall heat or on, I think full forward. Takeoff laps, that's a mission critical thing. Bleeds and air are set. Landing lights on because I'm back taxiing. Grid panel's normal. Fuel is balanced. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and brief this takeoff. It's gonna be a normal left seat takeoff runway 35 bugged runway heading. We're gonna depart VFR, pick up IFR in there. So I just have 16,500 here as a bug so I don't enter class A without a clearance. And if we have abnormalities, we abort before 85 knots. If we're airborne, we are not going to attempt the impossible turn back to 17 unless we're at least 800 AGL. So let's call that 2,300 feet. Otherwise, we're going to push forward for 120 knots, and we're going to land straight ahead, most likely on Interstate 10. Bernie, stage traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, departing runway 35 northbound departure, Bernie. Light wind out of the northeast. All 
Alright, power looks good. Push it up to about 90%. Air speed's alive, cross check. Up on the brakes, no more runway. Landing gear is up. About to throw the yaw damper off. Bernie, stay traffic. TBM 236, Echo Alpha is up. Went runway 35, Bernie. Almost done with my climb here. Climbing at 155 knots indicated. All right, guys, here we are. Almost to tell your ride. And I just want to point out a couple interesting things. So, performance is pretty good. It's only ISA plus 10. We're doing 309 to 310 true. So, that's terrific. And as far as our descent planning is going, we're not descending just yet. But field elevation in Telluride is, let's see, it's 9,070 feet. So, we need to put our cabin pressurization 500 feet above that. So. This is unique, and I don't know if it's ever happened to me before this flight, so I'm going to be descending, but I actually have to increase my cabin altitude from 8,300 feet to 9,500 feet, so I'm going to get, go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Interesting, right? So now the cabin is climbing before I start descending. And that's Telluride for you. And we'll 3191, descend and maintain 13,000, report down of airport in sight. So something else I'm going to do going into Telluride, there's only an approach for runway 9. I'm going to back up my visual approach with the RNAV at the Zulu. But you basically have to overfly the field and go to the west to the Cones VOR. That'd be the initial approach fix to come back in on runway 9. I'm going to do a right pattern. It's a right pattern for run runway 9. I'm probably going to hang on a 14,600. The 14,600 is the minimum safe altitude. I'm probably going to keep that 14.6 on my right yeah, now in for runway 9. 5.35 5 5 5 5 25.35, thanks for help, Sam. Hello, Denver, TV, I'm 236 Echo Alpha, 22 and a half, descent at 17,000. All right, guys, so well into the descent and to tell you right, I'm setting up for a right downwind for runway nine visually and expecting a little bit of bumps and probably some light to rhyme in the clouds. So I have my inertial separator on before I exceed 200 knots. And I have the camera rolling up front and out the pilot side window. So I think we're going to get a great view. anyone. We're at 17,000 going to tell you right. That was 4782 affirmative. You're released for departure. November 6, I go off at Denver Center. I have three frequencies. You're you're on with me. Uh, let me know when you have to tell you right at the airport in sight. Can we get a little lower? November 6, I go off at the center. Maintain 16,000. That is my minimum IFR altitude. If you don't get it in sight, we can take it back around for the RNF. Roger. We'll let you know. Thank you. Cancel IFR, we have in sight. Number six, Echo Alpha, IFR can place your receive squad VFR. Available. Alpha, Kyra, Unicom, Altimeter 3050. Thank you, 3050. We are uh, no more than five minutes out. I'm going to need 30 gallons. That's 30 gallons, 15 per side positive press, please. Tell you ride traffic, change of plans, TBM 236 Echo Alpha. We're on a left base, runway 27, left base 27, tell you ride. Okay, we're geared down, geared down, flaps for 50%, and coming in hot. Great thing about these turboprops is they slow down in a hurry. Tell you right, traffic, TBM 236, Echo Alpha, two mile, left base, runway 27, tell you right. 
Say right traffic, 7 Bravo Whiskey is uh, runway heading, climbing to 16,000. All right, so I was going to go on a right downwind. It looks too good not to just go here for my left base to land, make up some time. But what you're going to see is I'm high. Airport elevation is about 9,000 feet. So I want to turn final around 9,500 and definitely no more than 10,5 here or 11,000, but I should be in good shape. Look, we slow down in an instant. Very good. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, I think I missed my short window on the VFR departure. You'll see how I do. I'm going to pick up my clearance on the ground and get airborne and head on back to San Antonio. Fourteen thousand two hundred will be departing to the west. A departure towards the. VOR and hold, and that VOR is the ETL VOR. Let's see, I'll put that in here. ETL will be departing. Westbound departure says climb um, climb up to 14,200 westbound to the Cones VOR that keeps us safe from obstacles. And then after that, we're expecting junction VOR, that Bernie stage, pretty efficient ride. Pretty efficient route out of here. I'm going to get my trim set for takeoff. Okay, pitch rudder panel is normal. It's good landing light on. Uh, pressurization for the way home. I'll do 30. <coughs> I'll do 31,000 feet. Have that set. Barely any different from here. Go call center. All right, so he cleared us to five Charlie one is filed. Maintain one six thousand. Expect flight level three one zero ten minutes after departure twenty five thirty five. We're expecting that the squawk three seven six five. And he said hold for release. And there's an inbound M six hundred. So we're gonna taxi up here towards the runway, and we're gonna hold. Once we see that bird, we will be giving him a call. Telluride traffic, EBM 236, Echo Alpha, taxi for the FBO up to an old short runway 27, Telluride. It's in biz that looks crazy over here. Got weather, we have ice, we have terrain. Welcome to Telluride. Yeah, I don't know this area. I am not going to go out there VFR. I just don't know the area well enough. I'll we'll just sit here. Yes, sir, this is 236 Echo Alpha, ready for departure runway 27. We see the guy on the left downwind, uh, the M600. Tell your ride traffic, T TBM 236 Echo Alpha making departure off runway 27, expediting. Tell your ride. Tell your traffic, radio 695, share tango, left base, 27, tell your ride.
BM236 Echo Alpha rolling runway 27 westbound departure, tell you right. Tell your traffic really 695 to your tango turning final 27, tell you right. Okay, airspeed is alive. That is my 100%, that's all I'm going to get here. I'll take off rolls increase. Oh, feels, rotation feels a little sluggish. I'm already up. Tap on the brakes. Landing gear is up. A damper is coming on. Telluride traffic, TBM 236 Echo Alpha, upwind runway 27, departing to the west. Telluride. Flaps are up. I'm departing. Actually, ceilings aren't bad. Flip over as soon as I can. I'm on TBM mode, however, I'm not going to turn my inertial separator off because I'm expecting ice. Denver Center, TBM 236 Echo Alpha out of Telluride. Do you copy? 236 Echo Alpha, loud and clear, your radar contact is off the departure end. You can climb and maintain flight level 260. Flight level, flight level 2606 Echo Alpha. Uh, we're, we don't have as good of products as you do, but our XM, it looks like maybe if we could just do a 180 after we gain altitude and proceed uh, 090 for a little while. And 6 Echo Alpha, yeah, there's a couple. So you want to make like a right turn back around? Actually, a left turn back around. Actually, a left turn back around and just pick our way towards the east southeast is what we're thinking. Six Echo Alpha. Unfortunately, with the terrain, you would have to do that in VFR conditions below 16,000 out there. Um, if you think you're able that, um, I can approve all of that. But if you get stuck low below 16, I can't separate you from the mountain. Roger. Uh, what altitude do you need us to climb to before you can turn us on course? Uh, Six Echo Alpha. One six thousand is the soonest I can start um, turning you anywhere, unless you want to be in VFR conditions and do it on your own. No, that's great. We'll uh, we'll just uh, proceed due west to uh, to the VOR until we get to us uh, one six thousand. Six Echo Alpha, reaching one six sixteen thousand. You can deviate however you need, and then advise on course to your destination when able. Six Echo Alpha, fresh. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch over to radar here a little bit. Get more tactical. And I'm going to be getting some ice, so probably want to climb a little faster with ice. Probably no faster, probably no slower than 150, so my climb performance is caca right now, but what I need. Here comes the ice, I can tell. I need landing lights, I can tell that as well. Make sure I'm pressurized. Let's see, it's all different here. Land, leave and tell you right, I'm already 14,000 feet. Okay, but our cabin is staying there. Cabin is staying there at where it should. Not much ice at all. That's great. I don't know if you can see it off the right wing from my camera, but not much ice. Pretty smooth in the climb. Smooth ride for me. Right 
right now when I'm climbing, I'm really concerned about ITT because I have my inertial separator on, so I'm not going to get the same performance that I might be used to. Okay, I'm going to make a turn to the left at 16,000. Here I come. Yeah, 5972. Traffic is just off the parture end in the K6500. Looks like they might be what's on my autopilot now, so I can release for departure. Your not getting overloaded on task. Uh, now I'm looking for icing. I'm turning back. So all these different things coming at me fast, and I want to make sure I don't get behind the plane in any way. At least some light. That definitely helps. TBM 236 Echo Alpha, we're making that turn to the southeast, left turn. Bad, not bad. Land lights off, the panel. Okay, bleeds are on, AC's on, that's important. Right Clamps are up. Telephone, somebody checked in, who did I miss? I got a King Air that's going to climb off the airport in the same direction. How are your ride and flight conditions so far? Uh, flight conditions couldn't be better. Really smooth air, light rain, light precip, and uh, so far, uh, trace rhyme, but we might get a little more. Ready? Hey guys, here we go, about 305 knots true. Nice cool engine, ITT 763. Now we see some weather on the next ride, which is good for planning. Looking out here, they're not kidding around. That behemoth is probably 40,000 feet. Now, it looks like we're gonna be in it for about 20 miles to the left or right, but here's where our weather radar comes in handy. We go to the radar here, we can see what's going on. And, okay, it's right there. Airing, I am going about seven degrees. To the left, so that's the direction I'm heading. So I should be fine, but I talked to air traffic control and requested left deviation, so I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little more separation to that.